Damon at Modern Music Studio. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and like all our videos and pass them around with all your friends. We have a good time up here. All right, so anyway, uh, today we're going to do a little uh, bluegrass guitar lesson on Sweet George Brown, the tune that was the Harlem Globetrotters theme song, and still is. Um, and it's used for many other purposes, I'm sure. But uh, this is a little bluegrass version of Sweet George Brown. We're going to talk about um, some alternating bass things, like we start with a D7 chord. And we're going to do that alternating bass. Alternating between the D bass note and the A bass note. So we're going to do four times on that D7. So. Then we're going to go to G7. Now with G7, we're going to start with the low G bass. And we're going to come to the D string for its fifth. And if we do the top of the chord, go beyond the D string, when we hit the D, D string, it'll pop out more because we didn't hit it in the chord. So kind of like um, if you leave something out, then when you bring it in, it, it pops out more. And then we go to the C7. Alternates to the G bass. And then we have the F. Alternates to the C bass. Only three times though. The fourth one is the A7, which goes from the A bass to the E bass. So let's look at those again. So we got D7. G7. C7. F three times to the A7. Back to the D7. G7 again. Now we're doing D minor to A7. D minor to A7. And then we have a little chromatic walk down. So this is, uh, this is a F7 chord right here, based on the C7 shape. Our bass note is on the eighth fret of the fifth string. Going down one fret at a time, to the G7, to the C, to the F. Okay, so one more time on that we got. Okay. Now what we're going to do this time is we're going to add in some chromatic walking bass lines to get to the new chord each time. So our D7 is going to go. So we started out uh, three frets below the note we were going into and we just went chromatic one fret at a time. So let's try that again. D7. G7. Now we're going to walk up on the A string up to the C. C7. And then we're going to walk up um, up to the F on the D string. And then we go to the A7, back to the D7. And we're going to do that walk up to the G7 again. Now we're going to do D minor to A7, D minor to A7, and then we have our chromatic walk down from the F7, E7, E flat 7, D7, G7, C to F. Okay, so here's um, the melody. This is one of the, this is the melody I picked up uh, to play with Sweet Georgia Brown. I found it to be an interesting one, um, so can't remember exactly where it came from, but. There's a lot of them out there, so find one that you like and go after it, you know? So anyway, we're going to start out with that. That's going to be, that's your F note on the D string on the third fret. So let's start out with that. Okay, 
so that's quite a bit. Let's look at that again. And so once again, with the bluegrass stuff, we're really trying to get these down up strokes happening. So any of the time that you're going like, dum, bum, 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 you don't really need to do your upstrokes, but when you're doing those faster notes, those um, eighth notes, you're gonna have to do the down up, the, the ups with the downs. So let's look at that again. We gotta pick up on this F note. A little chromatic run right there. So, let's try that again. Okay, so that's kind of our first little bit. Let's look at that again. We're gonna got we got the chromatic walk down. Oh two four oh two four two four. So. Our next part is going to go. All right, now notice we switched from the fourth fret and that more major sounding thing to the third fret, which kind of has a more of a minor sound. Now, this one's interesting. So let's look at that. That has a half step with this D to the C sharp there. To the E string. So it goes from the using a C sharp to using a regular C right there. And that note, if you notice, was the F sharp, but right after that we get into an F. So. Okay, so one more time on that. And we're putting a swing feel to this whole thing. If we were doing it very straight, it would be... Um, you know what I'm saying? So we're putting that swing on it, so we got the... If you don't know what swing is, it's basically instead of eighth notes, one and two and three and four and it's basically like a group of three, like a triplet, but the the middle one is missing. So it's like instead of like one and a two and a, it's like one, a two, a three, a four. That's how you get that bump, ba bump, ba bump. That's how you get that blues shuffle swing type of thing. So we're going back to the swing here. We're gonna keep on going with the melody here. A lot of that had been a repeat until we get to that little section right there because that's when the chords switched into the D minor to A7 thing. So let's look at the second half of that again. So, um. so 
this is all kind of the same. So that was our new part. And then we have this part. So that's all the melody there for Sweet George Brown. Be sure to smash that subscribe button.